Welcome back to Motor Addicts. We are in Herm Bay, which is very drizzly, very dull, but it's not too dull because Big Lee Stevens has bought me a three-door Cosy for the Nostalgia series because I've never driven one. I've never robbed one. <laughs> never robbed one. But if I would, it would probably be one of these because I couldn't afford one of these when I was younger, but I could afford a Sapphire. For some reason, Sapphires were cheaper. But I'm going to get my first experience driving this three-door Cosy, which is totally original on 60,000 miles, only two owners. But let's get into it. Let's have a look at this car. Right, so as you know, Big Lee is back. You haven't been on a video for a while now, have you? No, I've, uh, I've sort of laid back a little bit with it. Um, we got act in January on social media and uh, I spent ages trying to get it back and sort it out. So we've been busy working. We've been in the background, keeping ourselves to ourselves, busy working. Yeah. So we're back now. I've got some news, hence why you're down here today yeah, as well. he's moving to Spain, supposedly. <laughs> that was the last thing I heard, was he's moving to Spain. But he's That's not moving happen. to Spain now. But supposedly there's a big surprise. That's like this, that is that, yeah, exactly that. Yeah. I could be on the beach now in 12 degrees at the very, very worst of it. Yeah. In the um, but, but we've got uh, we've got new plans. We've got new ideas for 2024. Um, that's why I was coming down this way to Daffle Perfect. Give you a shout. I want to get you out in one of them, let you have a drive of that. Yeah. It's on your old stomping ground as well as where you used yeah, to roll about. Where in your used cars to roll back about the with the old boy races down at the other car park. So but, um, tell us a little bit about this car because you've only just obtained it it is for yes. sale as yeah. well yeah yeah uh, how much up. is it for sale for 59 grand that is 59 yeah. grand so yeah. why is it 59 grand's worth right of motor? that car there that car was off the road since 1993 the original owner had it since it was 18 uh, months old yeah um, a chap friend of ours josh bought it off his neighbor he's actually sitting in his neighbor's garage he didn't realize one day come home from work and thought see the the uh, garage over next door and you see a little blanket over the back he said i thought that's a cosy in there so he spoke to his old neighbour and he went, yeah, I've had it since it was 18 months old. So, 18 in his head then, wasn't it? So what was it, a demo it. car before or something No, like it was uh, just an uh, original uh, owner car uh, who bought it from new. Um, whether they were a rep or something like that, we don't know. It did have an original, uh, it's got the aerial on there still for the original telephone. So there was a telephone in there at some point. The, the aerial and stuff's in the boot as well. So it might have been a rep's car, something like that. It could have been a dealership demo car, something like that with the bits. But um, he bought it 18 month old, so pretty much bought it now I'm brand new and uh, and only used it for since 80, 88 and a half, 89. So we only used it for four years and it was off the road from 1993 till a year and a half ago when Josh contacted me, uh, the owner who bought it off of him and said, I've just managed to find this, can't believe what I found two foot away from me next to my house, managed to buy it and we recommissioned it for him. So that come in and we fully recommissioned it head casket, head rebuild, the whole lot, every bush done, everything, got it back to its driving state. So now it's, it drives up brand new. So Absolutely why, why, phenomenal Why is car. he selling it? He, 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 want, he didn't really want to sell it. It's, certain reasons um didn't well, really want to sell it it's it was probably because of the value of them as well yeah but <laughs> made a bit of profit on us yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, and, uh, so you say it's totally original obviously when we looked at the one that was in the barn or whatever garage yes yeah it was all peeling here that's it yeah yeah so this hasn't got that but this obviously didn't do the mileage to 
Warrant no, that. this has done the same sort of mileage, but it's been in the garage for a lot of years. It's had a couple of bits of paintwork around it, always honest with my cars, always look around them and make sure if they're original paint and stuff like that. It's had a couple of bits of paintwork done it over the years, as per normal, but back, back like 93, you know yeah, what I mean? Or a bit yeah, pre, yeah. before it was in the garage. So this uh, has been painted before, uh, and a couple of bits, I think the rear quarter it was, and the roof have been painted. A couple of little bits and bobs. Probably, oh, the front end actually was, was blown in. Um, was it So part and parcel of stone chips and stuff like that. It's had a front end blown in. Uh, the roof was painted a little bit on the rear quarter. So right. again, just some marks and stuff like that. It's all original panelled. The, the wheels Every, are original. They've yeah, been, yeah, they um, have even been refurbished they've been left because you look at the amount of meat on the rim of them they've been totally left original um, right. they haven't been cut to the to the death of their life so the car is all original car apart from a cut hand part and parcel of paintwork being a 60,000 mile car all original panelled and everything and the reason would have been yeah is because obviously it had been painted years ago and yeah. the car hasn't been started yeah, since 93 yeah. it only got used obviously back then for four years so the interior is good there Absolutely immaculate. A couple yeah. of little cracks on the dash. Which yeah, yeah, very. Do you know what? That's the first thing we look at as well. Is when we look at and think, how are they? This has got the most minimal. That, yeah, that's, it's just that's off gold. Of the speaker cover. Isn't yeah, it? that's it. Yeah, they're all dry around there. All the early dashes, same as in like the the RS 1600s. All the early 80s before they changed over, they were all cardboard dashes more, and they were a bit drier the material, and that's why they all walked and went. They all cracked everywhere. Then the later cars, you still get them in some of the SAF cars. These with the leather dashes, they they warp a little bit through to some. They don't crack as much. It's mainly the vented and the early ones like Series 1 RS Turbos, RS 1600s, yeah. all the, the, the earlier ones before they sort of base, uh, rectified it. Um, but this, this is a really good dash. It's got a couple of little cracks in it, but some of them are cracked, you know, all the way down to the, yeah, to the vent, it, all the yeah. way along. Well, this isn't, this is a real nice dash. Right, let's Same as the interior. Let's have a look under the bonnet at this one. It's even got the original airbox on it as well. Everything, absolutely untouched car, right? So what Josh done was, he, he got it in, we'd done all the work on it, totally recommissioned it, running, start running, driving, absolutely like brand new, everything safe and secure. He then went and had it detailed uh, by a company um, up uh, in Milton Keynes where he lives. Yeah. He had it detailed by him and he must have spent a good few quid because there's pictures and videos of the bumpers being taken off and oh, stuff right. like all so inside, outside good. the bumpers. And so, we out on a day like this. Well, ain't too bad, is it? To yeah, to the sea, yeah, yeah. You can hear it crying for us, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I feel criminal already, but it's, he basically had it all cleaned up and done, and it's just been left back, you know what I mean? Been, been detailed, and nothing's been, oh, we'll just get a new one, and we get everything's been done. It could do with a head of tank. I mean, they all go there. Um, you know, it's part and parcel of it. Absolute yeah. fortunes when they do come up for sale, so it is a part and parcel. You sort of, you live with it until it yeah. goes, or you can find one that ain't And the main thing pounds. with these, they never have the air boxes on, they never have the cam covers on. That's it, yeah. But this has still got them. Just everything, mate, yeah, all the stickers still, even you know, the worn stickers out, you've got, it's all half missing, it's just honesty all around it. Um, you know, the only thing obviously we did do is the fuel pressure regulator, which yep. is what you're doing them, um, because they're a big hazard now, you have to replace them. Yep. That's the only thing, apart from the engine bay, every, nothing's ever been touched. So I've, been I've got a quick question for you then. So the one that we took to auction, which yes. I'll put the link in up here somewhere, and the one we took to auction was filthy, it was flat tyres, yeah, it yeah. had this, that, didn't have fa uh, cam belt change, nothing like that, it was just whatever. And we sent it through auction and got how much? 60, 67 grand, wasn't it? 67 grand. 67 so grand, we, including the fees, yeah. We got 67 grand for that, mm. and it was a lot worse a condition than this. Yeah. Why is this 59 and that was 67? Is it because it's, of the story of the other the, one, or is it because this one's... No, it, it's people like you know. People like to find them now. People like to find it, do their bits on it, spend their money. You find a lot of people now would rather go to the auction and and buy one that's covered in dust, totally untouched, ain't been abused. No one's got their hands around it yet, and then they can get their hands on it. They can do the work, spend right. their money. Uh, they end up spending a bit more money, um, you know, than what the car could be worth and stuff like that. It's a sort of chance you can take, but then a labour of love. You never make money back on a labour yeah. of love anyway, really, unless you've had a, a good treat. So that is mainly why uh, I can understand it as well because I love a bit of RS dust. I love a barn finder, Gary. Yeah, but I, I, I would I'd much rather touch, go and buy that all ready to go than that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, mean, I, I can see that why people do it is they just know it ain't been touched. I'm going to get my hands on that. I've bought that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. me who's going to do that. And that's the, that's the buzz of the barn find slash garage find nowadays. Right. Well, it does look nice. I think uh, we'll go for this drive, drive and fantastic. then. Uh, I get the chance to actually drive one and see what you've got hidden that you want to show me. Yes, yeah, that's the reason why I've got you down here as well, is uh, I've got something I'm going to show you boys. Um, so that's one of the big things. Well, there we go, we'll have a look at that, let's yeah. go. Oh, here we go. 
my first experience in a three door. Well, the good thing about it straight away is the gearbox is lovely in it. Yeah, you felt that. Try then. and find it. Yeah, yeah. Same reverse. You don't have to go in fifth with this one. Like most cars, you do before you put it in reverse. Don't want to give it too much revs because it's old. Has it got power steering? Yeah. Is it power steering? Yeah. I'll tell you what. It is quiet though, isn't it? Yeah, when you so, pull out, didn't you feel confident, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. I love modified ones, but when you're in a standard one, you think sometimes, why did I bother with modified? Well, the thing is, it's it's too expensive to go wrong now, so it's probably better to leave it as a standard car, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. Like, I, I, I do love the Recaro seats that are in it, because they're, they're just classic, aren't they? Hug you in nice. At the minute, I'm sort of spreading them out because I put a cut of stone on the last <laughs> year and a half to two years. I tell you what, the so, brakes uh, are good, don't they? Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm bulging the bolsters out at the minute, but uh, but next year's a different thing. Back on the diet again. So <laughs> well, diet a bit. Of I came off my diet for a little while, so I need to get back on it. Oh, good. Still sure. in the fold, then. But where you can see here, this is where I used to hang out when we were kids. Like, well, yeah. it weren't. It was McDonald's car park, but then it was like. Um, you know what, Let, let's change up the scene and go to bloody Urn Bay. Yeah, yeah. So we used to come down here. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, yeah, I'm some memories down, down here. Because yeah. the speed well, we bumps used have only been here for a few years. Yeah, the speed they? bumps yeah. weren't here, so you could put your foot down quite a bit down here. But we're, we're talking like early 2000s, late 90s. Like uh, the little south end, really, wasn't it? It was like a little yeah, south yeah. end. A bit like Margate. Margate, you can still get away with a few yeah. bits, but you had all the clubs kicking out and all that. Yeah. My first door job was actually in Herne Bay. It was at the bandstand, is it called, or the pavilion? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the left <coughs> as you pull around. Yeah, there was yeah. a pub there, and I'd done the doors there for, for about six months. So there you go, that's my first proper door job. I think when was mine? Icon in Maidstone when it opened up. Icon in Maidstone? Yeah, do you remember it? Oh, yeah, because Big Lee used to do the doors yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd done doors back in the early days. I'd done doors when they were safe. Well, yeah, 50 quid a night. No, it was <laughs> safe and you can get away with whatever you wanted to do. Yeah, now yeah. you can't do a thing. Yeah, but then, I, I tell you then what, them brakes are absolutely banging. Yeah, yeah. No shaking on the steering wheel. No. Nothing. No, it drives straight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Have you put new brakes on it? New pads. New pads. Yeah, yeah. And refurbished like? calipers as well. In, are they yellow stuff or something? <laughs> what a <laughs> couple of anchors. <laughs> I remember back in the day when I used to drive these, when I had my SAF, I was like that. You know, you, you proper over like a yeah, boy. You're hanging, over, you're right, yeah. hanging over now, I've got back aches, so I like a nice comfortable chair. But back <laughs> then it was like, I don't care, yeah, I want to yeah. see what people think One of me. One arm over this side. One arm over, slightly hunched. Or, yeah. well, London, I can't do it because I'm that side, but London, London thing used to be like that. Hey, people drive along like that. Around us, so that was the London double busy look <laughs> when I was growing up. Was a couple, double busy yeah, look, double busy look. You'd be like that, and you'd be driving along, and you'd be double busy out the window. So, Look you're all the like. same age as me. So, how old would these have been? Well, when... I'm 82, um, yeah, I'm so 81. we're talking six years after um, yeah. this would have been built. Yeah, so, so, we would have been like six years old. Ele well, yeah, we would have been they would have been 11 years old when we were able to, or well, when we passed our test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to work down here in a in a estate agent called Your Move, if that's still a thing. I don't know if it's still a it's thing. Still about, I think, yeah. But there was one round here. Oh, it's got Anzo standard wheels as well, which is always nice. So you don't get no banging, clonking, donking. If you normally go for like 18s, you normally yeah. have to sacrifice a little bit because most I, people I, put coilovers on, put the gas coilovers on with a set of 18s. Gives it a pucker look, looks pucker. You have to sacrifice a little bit of drivability for yeah, the Yeah, because you've got the, the RS500 with 18s, haven't you? Yeah, I've got the 18 inch Comp TH2s on it. That's got gases on it. Um, so it's going to be bouncy as hell then. Ain't Owen, is it? Like RX6 Owen on those plays. He bought yourself a white disco. Well, he'd be stupid if he did. Who buys a bloody Range Rover? Well, you yeah, did. That's another one there. Yeah, I've. Well, I sold it just about right. Yeah. Right time. <laughs> so, it's quite lucky. What, before it went wrong? <laughs> no, before the prices went wrong. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was, don't get me wrong, I still lost on it, but um, easy to. So, you being the Cosy man, how old were you when you bought your first Cosy? You know what? I didn't manage to a full one until sort of 12 years ago. 
um, because when I was growing up, I was in all my escort convertibles and stuff like that, XR2s and, yeah. and stuff, and I never reached, like most of us, never really reached it. Even back in them day, I was just doing normal jobs at like 200 quid a week, you know, and, and 250 quid a week when I was getting older. So never, I never never took loans out when I was young, that sort of stuff. I'd yeah. be buying three, 400 quid XR2s and the escort cabriolets for 500 quid and turbo convertible I bought off a mate, you know, that was, was a grand. And I never went out and went, full blown getting a 10 grand loan and going to buy the ultimate drink car I didn't it wasn't on my radar as such because I knew I couldn't afford them so I just it was to, it was to run around the cheaper ones that you know um, that, that I stuck with a lot so it was the years. XRs and the RSs yeah yeah you? basically yeah XR2s yeah Escort Cabriolet I had a few Escort Cabriolets when I was younger um, I had a couple to be fair great cars yeah. and they just haven't cottoned on for money some of them you see up for a lot of money but they're just great cars they're really cool same as like the Mark 1 Golf Convertibles lovely cars but You'll go and get one for a couple yeah. of grand now, and it used to be, weren't that long ago, when they were still eight, nine hundred quid for an old Mark, standard Mark 1 Golf convertible. But a fantastic car for your money. Uh, th this drives really well. Th there's yeah. absolutely nothing wrong with it. Sell it for us, Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Yeah, sell it. Tell how good it's driving. Honestly. How good it feels. If he's selling it, yeah. it's 59 grand. Yeah. It's bloody lovely. But actually, yeah. There's, there's nothing. Like nothing. No, you can't pick a fault. There's not hardly any play in the steering wheel for a car this old. Gearbox is lovely. Yeah, even around it. There's, there's no, there's no slop in it. No, no, no. They usually have a lot of slop when it's in gear, but it's spot on. Um, Do you mind if is... I put my foot down down there? Go for it, mate. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to stay away from a corner. Yeah, yeah. we're but... a little bit damp. It ain't a wet day too much, but have a little stand away. Nice stand, still got it, innit? <laughs> Good 200 horsepower, yeah. it still makes you laugh. It's yeah, a heavy straight away, we go it's like a heavy car. It's, it's a heavy car, yeah, yeah. but it's it's on the button. Obviously, yeah. you've got your weight for it. There we go. Yeah. Then it comes in. Kick it. She's still impressed, still feels good, didn't she? Yeah, you know? it's like, but there's no, as you say, usually you feel front ends lift up and yeah. there's a little bit of wobble or a knock. A shaking from something, yeah, yeah. or yeah, bigger different. No, it's yeah. just... Still I'm going to annoy you, but I'm going to do this. Oh, all the wipers, look at them. They've made this, they even put wipers on it. Yeah, I know. Ten and a half grand spent on it, recommissioned. We even threw the wipers in. I mean. <laughs> what, you threw the wipers in for free, did you? <laughs> Gauge. I never worried me then. You, I was, what? You, I was checking gear. I thought you were checking for sick no, or something. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 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 the three doors come with a boost gauge up top. Never got that in the sash. You just got them there. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. By the way, it's under the. What is that? It's something else. Even that opens and shuts lovely still. Yeah, Everything. see, me and Owen have come to a thing now. We don't play with uh, anything, sunroofs or anything. because. Get a Ford. Oh, anything. <laughs> we went out in that MI-16 and we went like that and we're like, should I have touched that? Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. you don't know if it's going to go right yeah, or Yeah, it's wrong. a very tricky game when you, we, we do get one in to see if you, yeah. or you go on near someone, it goes a little bit grainy and you go, oh, and then you sort yeah, of have to give it a little yeah. bit of a Just move, oil it up for a night, yeah, and play yeah. with it. It's, it's like old cogs and you have to make the old girl for you. Don't pull you over There's as no well. travel Something. on the brake no, pedal. No, no. A little bit of a flutter. A little bit of a yeah. flutter there. Oh, it's superb. And you've never driven a three door, have you? No. This is your first time. It's my first time, and you know yeah. what? I was expecting it to be really bangy, rattly, yeah. this, that, and the other, because I thought they weren't put together well back in the day. They're gonna be it's gonna be awful. It's actually surprised me because yeah. the sapphires were quiet they're quite smooth less rattles actually i'd say there's more rattles in them from the ones i've driven yeah. than this one it so could... we want to pull off up here um for the john wilson estate right okay yep i've got a little sag i want to show you So as you said, there's something happening here. You yes. said this is the new unit. So what's going on? 
Well, this is us. This is us, new, bigger, better, um, rebranded and going at it, really. We're going to open up to the public. That's our main thing. Um, you know, we, we keep ourselves in the background. We, as you know, where we work, we don't have a lot of people come down. We like to keep ourselves safe, secure yeah. and all that. And just, we work, you know, and just keep ourselves to ourselves. So since we had the problem in January with, with hacking, took the energy out of me to try and get it sorted, stuff like that. But just to explain that a little bit yeah. better, Lee got hacked on his Instagram where he had quite a decent following yeah, yeah. and then yeah. it was by terrorists or terrorists something? Terrorists actually hacked me. Yeah, yeah, it was all gun salutes and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, it was a whole lot, and what they do is they they, 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 they tap your account, your Facebook uh, ads account, and then your credit card that's on there, from if you've used it for some ads, they go and use that basically and go, thank you, we'll, we'll advertise terrorism, it's cost you 280 quid. That's what happened. Did it cost it you me, 280 No, quid? I got it back, but that's, <laughs> I, it took me two days to find this out. But that, that's actually and what happened. because it was terrorism activity, they wouldn't let you have the account back? Just Facebook weren't a problem. Then Instagram lost it. And then I had to go through avenues and I was trying to get all the metal. It was a nightmare. It was January this happened. And I've just spent months upon months upon... You can't get hold of meta. They just don't exist, really. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's not like, like eBay. eBay, you get a problem, you phone them up, got a problem, they sort it out. It was just, I was going for avenues with people. I know big people in the social media circles, you know, influencers, yeah. thinking they're like, don't know, you're scratching their head. We don't know, it's yeah. hard work, it's invisible. I think it's even uh, Misha Trowden had a... Yeah, we had everyone. Really yeah, 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 we had Churro had a go for us, trying to get some people, everything. I was, I was asking all people we know that, you yeah, know, I've, good following. messages, but yeah, it was so obviously yeah. that got hacked. Yes. You then said to me about three months ago, I'm mugging all this off. It's doing me nothing i'm yeah. grafting i'm traveling up the country and back i was yeah i'm moving to spain yeah that's still happening that's still happening in a few years it was like do you know what we're like we we i mean the thing is that we've got we've always got work in we're always good with work yeah that's great but it was like at one point i was like do you know what let's do something i've this i've had enough of the country in a bit of a way let's let's do the, let's do the let's do the spain thing now and then I've got the buzz back, you know what I mean? I've, I've got the buzz back to think, do you know what we need to do? It's is to get out there, open up bigger and better, don't worry about social media, it ain't, the, it ain't your life, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's there, it's fantastic, but when you feel like you've lost everything from, it, from losing yeah. your followers or yeah, losing yeah. your page, but then when you get back out there and you start going, do you know what, no, this is what I love. So I was like, right, we're going bigger, we're going better, we're opening up to the public, Hence why we're here. We've got these right. two units. This is two as well, not right. just the one. And it's not so going to be called Smarden Classic. No, so we're rebranding mainly for the reason as well as we've been Smarden Classic for years when we was in Smarden Business Estate. When yeah. I first opened the company there and it was Smarden Business Estate, we moved a little bit local to there, not far down the road. We still kept it as out. But now it's like, do you know what? Again, bigger, better. Let's rebrand, let's rename it. Let's go new, let's go open to the public. We want to have car meets here. We want to have you know, open days, all that sort of stuff. What are you We're calling it? Rebranding, RS Revived. Okay. Remember that one, RS Revived. <laughs> that's who we are now, because that's what we do. We revive the RSs, you know, and we do all the servicing work, the recommission, everything. That's what we do. So that's exactly what we are. Right, well, and it's just like a bigger, better, newer thing to go, right, let's get the, yeah. forget about social media. The, the, the disheartening it took out of me, let's go bigger, better now, and let's open up to the public and show people what we do. All right, let's, you got the keys. Let's yes, I've got the keys. We're going to have a little look around now. VSM, they've moved, a little plug for them. They're actually moving down the yeah. road with um, Press On Automotive. So uh, they are moving to there. They're only around the corner, so they're not going far. Down there, you drive straight in. All you see is that sign. You know, we are we are front front page, and it's perfect, perfect you location. Wouldn't, you wouldn't tell that he's a salesman. Right? Yeah, he's exactly. yeah, yeah, he's right. <laughs> he's like, get the door that's, open that's the then. Thing, the excitement here. You know what I mean? Because again, you know, we're opening up to the public. And Happy days. Get the barriers. door open then. Yeah, we've got Come barriers, on. so Stu can't nick anything as well. Look. <laughs> I'll still try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm from Fanet. Originally Essex. <laughs> okay. Right. This is going to be, yeah, just a staircase up to the office slash shop. We've got, it's big enough up there to have a bit of a shop up there. We're going to do some clothing. We have some of your clothing in there. Hey. Some of the motor relics. We'll chuck a rail up there, can't we? Um, yeah. You know, uh, some parts. We've got display counters going up here with some bits and bobs and some memorabilia and stuff like that. We've got a new um, thing to offer as well with the business. It's a detailing studio. Okay. So, let me get some lights on. But we're going full detailing, mate. This is all going to be ripped out, all redone. We're having air conditioning. It's going to be a temperature controlled um, detailing bay. So we're going to have all that done. We're going to have new lights on the wall, all the LED lights. I've spent weeks of sleepless nights here and there. How big hex light do I go? Is a hex a detail light everyone wants? Ain't it? Yes, it is. People say it in. People say it is. I've drive myself mad with going, do I put a hex light in here? And people saying they're good for show. So the, problem the, is, the problem is with Lee is he does get a bit stressed. <laughs> problem with me is I've got ADHD. I've got to rent. <laughs> so once I've got sand in my head, it goes mad. Fucking hell's that? Yeah, there's a skip in there at the minute. <laughs> yeah, there's a skip in there at the minute. You've seen the size of the skip. Well, and then you uh, come into this. this one. Yeah, this is. <laughs> no, this is um, this is an escort, isn't it? I've seen these. You before. can't say that, mate. Ford You'll escort. Get... Irish Turbo. Um, 
It's cabriolet, yeah, it's got no roof on it. Jesus, look, look at it's the a, doors skip, on it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of vinyl in there as well. I you know the what? One, it is the weight of an escort door as well. You'll get hated for it, mate. You'll Why get hung. I get hated for it? Because <laughs> we've got moving. a big unit here. Yeah. Free so, ramps, you said. Yeah, so this, this is coming down. This was an office that was part of a few years ago. Um, this is all coming down. As soon as we get in, um, that's all coming down. The doorway, everything, the office above him, because we can get two ramps in here, hence the blue tape on the floor. That's where we've marked out. We can get two back ramps there, long-term projects. And up the front here, but where the skip is, marks there, is where we can get our third ramp in, yeah? <laughs> this is this is where the goods are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, terrorism going on. Since <laughs> yeah. I've been now, well, 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 I've, I've, I didn't actually get hacked. See, the thing is, I've gone from housing. This is all computer, computer system. So if you want anything, I can't give you a receipt and I can't tell you where I got it from. Yeah, so we've got in here. This is going to be uh, resin floor again as well. We're going clean, crisp, and we've got another ramp going up here. A daily ramp there. Uh, this is all again. This ain't structural, even though it's old now because it's mezzanine flooring with that. But doesn't look too well. It looks earthquakes, doesn't it? So it's all going to be sorted. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all being repaired and, and built back up. So that's being done. Where are you working today? Back office, or I wouldn't, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I've been like that for years, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get my, I'm going to go, get my bum as I go upstairs. Oh, is, that, is that all right? Yeah, beautiful. Office there, we'll have our office stuff there, some branding on the walls, everything there. Don't touch nothing, Stu. It's not for sale. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm like, what are you keeping? Are you keeping? No, nah, this, this is all J stuff. So this is this is what exactly what we're doing. This is going to be half and half. So we've got our office bit there. Of you know, we can sit there, tables and chairs, possibly a little meeting table to speak to a few people and that. That will be there. And then from here onwards, we're just going to have a little chill out area, telly up on the wall, a couple of rackings with some bits and bobs, some detailing products for the Juicy Details boys. Um, we'll have all that here. We'll have a few bits on the wall. And we just have some stuff, some like some parts for the cosy, some oil, some filters, some cam belt covers, and all parts like that, and some cam cover gaskets and gaskets and all bits and bobs. We can get our parts overnight anyway, but we're Over just going to turn it into Japan. a cool place. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, it's um, Huddersfield. <laughs> Over parts. <laughs> yeah. parts from Japan. Or um, Do you reckon it'll be open? Well, I'm, I'm open for like March. Um, you know, to be open, it might not be finished uh, and everything I want it. Of course, a month goes pretty quick, but. That's what we're looking at. Within a month to get it up and at least workable. And I want like a spring open day. I want I want a like April-ish open day and do an open day. Yeah. Get nice. everyone down in their cars. Well, there you go. That's uh, Big Lee's big move. Um, and not only that, I got the opportunity to drive a three-door Cosy. Which, I, if you if you have got a spare 59 grand. Yeah. If you have, you I'm know, just knock it about, be it back of the sofa <laughs> or something. And by all means, give Lee a message. Still at Smart and Classic. Yeah, we're still Smart and Classic. Yeah, we'll still be trading like that. We'll just change over our name. We're still there. We're still there. But we're just, yeah, because of different location, we're going to that name. Um, so, yeah, you still contact me for Smart and Classic. We are still always going to be there with Smart and Classic as well. But then we'll be, to here, we'll be Irish Revived. So. Right. Well, yeah. there you go. So, if you do fancy the Cosworth, um, or you want anything done on your Cosworth or yeah. Ford or... I don't know, Ford, Ford. Turbo. Anything Ford, mate. Yeah, yeah we do, do a lot on the Cosworth. Do, you still do normal classics as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. We do occasional Jags and stuff like that. Yeah, we do a different bit. Our main, as you know, oh, our main thing the... is Cosworths and RSs. But we work on, you know, Escort RS Turbos. We work on all Fords, all classic Fords. Not just the Cosworths, that's, but that's just where we do a lot of our work. A lot of recommissioning, a lot of servicing repairs, yeah. a lot of buying and selling of them. So, yeah, we, we work on all the Fords, mate. There you, you know? go. And if you ever fancy a new classic car, new old car, then contact Lee. Or if he hasn't got it, he'll find it. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. So yeah. if you do have any more details, obviously his links will be in the description below. It was a great experience driving the car. It's good to see the new unit and see that you got your buzz back. Buzz back, that's it. Which yeah, is yeah. good. Um, but other than that, Nick, is there anything you want to add? It's 20 minutes closer to us, which is always good. It's 20 minutes closer. <laughs> 20 I mean, minutes we, further for me. We can, we yeah. can uh, come and annoy him a bit more and see what stuff you've got coming in. So anyway, if you do like what you see or you did enjoy the video today, please like, share and subscribe. Please follow Mr. Lee Stevens. There's loads of big stuff that's going to change. I'm sure we'll be doing a lot more here. And uh, I wish you the best of luck, mate. And I'm still so, alive, yeah. You're that's still it. alive yeah, and he's I'm not still in about. Spain yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He still ain't lounging it up in a bar that he's bought in Spain. <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next one. How about give me that? Give me them good vibes, yeah, and you might get it back. Manifest anything, oh, look at that. No cap, no snapback. It's a new era. Got that balance like a Libra. Never been a diva, never wanna look.